Did you know that more than 1 in 50 people suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder? In the U.S., there's an estimated total of 2.2 million people that have OCD. Hi, my name is Tiago, and welcome to Mag Reviews. In this episode, I will be reviewing the book O.C. Daniel. O.C. Daniel is about two grade 8 students that both suffer from mental illnesses who have to solve the mystery of a possible murder. The pr- protagonist, Daniel Lee, has a very busy life. As well as solving the mystery, he is also the backup kicker for his school's football team, which pretty much means that he is the water boy. When the starting kicker gets hurt right before the playoffs, Daniel's forced to play even though he doesn't really like football, and he certainly is not very good at it. Further into the novel, Daniel meets Sarah Malvern, a grade 8 student who suffers from a very long list of mental illnesses such as depression and anxiety. She also has photographic memory, so she can remember almost anything that she sees. Together, they have to solve what they think was the murder of Sarah's dad. O.C. Daniel is a fiction and is not part of is adventure fiction and is not part of a series. The book is 292 pages long. The author of the novel is Wesley King. In my opinion, this is a pretty easy read, but not too easy. The book is in first-person perspective. The book, in my opinion, isn't like too many other books about mental health because there's so much going on and Daniel doesn't show any symptoms of having OCD to anyone. So they don't talk about OCD too much except for when Daniel has his nightly routine of what he calls zaps. When he feels like he has to do something and he doesn't know why. And if he doesn't do that, he feels like he'll die. In the novel, the protagonist is Daniel. Other main characters are Sarah Malvern, Max, Daniel's best friend, Emma, Daniel's sister, and in my opinion, the antagonist is John, Sarah's mom's boyfriend, who they think killed her dad. All of the characters are different and interesting. My personal favorite character is Max, because he's really nice to Daniel, even though Daniel is a weird kid and doesn't have many friends. I also like Max because he really likes sports, and he's super good at them as well. This book is set in a made-up place called U.S. Called, in the U.S. called Erie Hills. It's in the present and is just like our world. In the book, the author describes the setting very well, so you get a pretty good image of Erie Hills in your mind. I really liked the book because I really liked the mystery, and I I also like how it taught you lots about mental health and disability. This book is fast-paced, but still easy enough to follow. I didn't really have a favorite part because I loved the whole book so much. I would recommend this book to ages 10 and up because although it's a pretty read, pretty easy read, It still has some hard subjects, and readers under 10 might not understand or might see past the meaning of some of that hard subject. I think you would especially like this book if you like mysteries and learning about mental health. I think that the author did a great job writing this book because it was informative, but still a great story and a great mystery. If I were the author, I couldn't really have done anything differently because it was so perfect and good. I felt like there was nothing missing from the book and it would be almost impossible to make it any better because it it was just that good. Another thing I liked about the novel was that it was really exciting and there were lots of cliffhangers which made it so hard to put down. Also, I found that if you read some of the book, you could not stop thinking about what what just happened because it would have been so exciting. I would rate O.C. Daniel 5 out of 5 stars because it was just so good, exciting, informative, and in overall, just a great book. You should definitely 100% consider reading this book.